We just wanna have a good time. Hey yo, wanna have a good time. Today on what in the literal hell? Man, y'all move too slow. We need to speed this up. Now, let's cue the DJ and get this show started. What's the matter with you? We're sorry. All Ladies and gentlemen, please try again later. Boys and girls, children of all ages, act like you know. This morning we're talking everything from monkey pox, chicken pox, and dookie pox. Stick with us. Hey, this is your host Charles Rivers for What in the Living Hell. This is the first episode, but on this episode, just like many others, we're going to bring you the craziest, zaniest, dumb crap that people write to us on YouTube, as well as any other channel. If you can find it, you can keep it tasteful, we'll talk about it on this show. Now, let's see what we got. On this particular episode, we're going to be talking about a guy who wrote us about a video we did concerning how men are sexually harassed on the job by their female employees. And his post went like this. He says to me, now, let's be honest, though. It's a lot harder for a woman to sexually harass a man than the other way around. They're not saying it can't happen. But I personally don't think the two are comparable. Ah, the two are comparable. Now this is what I wrote him back. I was asking him, are you serving in the jury, the defense, or perhaps the plaintiff? Because with that type of opinion, I wouldn't want you representing me in court. And that's what a lot of people have to understand. When you see a video on this channel, it's in a much more broader context. It's not something real silly. You can get that on any of the other million YouTube channels. But on this channel, is the men's channel, so we do try to fight for men's concerns only. We're biased towards that. So when we do a video about how men are sexually harassed on a job, we mean that. We don't make it up. It's not a joke. There's thousands of stories, okay? And out there, you know about those stories. So. Here's three reasons why what he said don't make any sense whatsoever. Number one, when I said before, whose side are you on anyway? So, if you have that kind of opinion as a dude, that you can't see why that is comparable to what men do, or any other shows we do where the little boys are in relationship with their teacher, which are called sexual relations, but we know what it actually is. In both of those cases, people try to pretend that the, the males enjoy it, okay? If that's your kick, that's fine. But if you don't, you could be fired just like a woman could the other way around. So I want to know from him, whose side are you on? So before we even go into the court case, where this woman decided to do what she wanted to do to me on the job, you already sided with her. Everybody knows right now about the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp case, right? It depends on if you made up your opinion before you even went in there, regardless what you told the lawyer, I will be non-biased. So you imagine this guy saying that he cannot believe that a man would have as much trauma or much worry that a woman touched on a job and vice versa, right? Imagine that. Imagine he's sitting on the jury in your case when you take that chick to court. You already lost that. Now imagine he's the judge sitting there to mediate the case. You've already lost that. What about if he's the lawyer for her team or the lawyer for your team and they don't even believe you? Now, that's been happening about 100 years or more. So we're done with that. And a Johnny Depp case proves that we are done with that. Okay, number two. Adult fantasies are not children's reality. So, in the cases where the teacher sleeps with her student, <clears throat> 12 years old, through whatever, and in those cases, we have guys that write us and tell them, hey, he enjoyed it. He's a lucky kid. That is an adult fantasy. That's what we have as adults. It's all right to fantasize that way, but that's your kink. That is not a child's kink. If you remember when you was a child, you worry about your big wheel, riding your bike, swimming in the summer, something like that. Your kink was not, I mean, your fun was not an adult fantasy. 
So you can't put your adult fantasies on children about maybe he was lucky or maybe he enjoyed it. Because when you do think that way, you're siding with her side in the court. Before we even go in there, we lost. And that's why a lot of guys have lost in those court cases all the way up to Johnny Depp. It was one of the first times in history where she was going to be on trial for what she said and what she did. Okay? No longer based on a groin. We're going to judge you as an equal human being. Number three. Uh, children's brains are wired differently. So in the same type of case where I said the female teacher has a so-called sexual relationship with the childless student, children's brains are wired differently than adults. Okay, so when children are born, they're born at like the highest love level. They love everybody, not like an adult where we hate people. Okay, so they got to start there. And then the second one, they get their friends. See, the brain matures. And then another level, the brain gets into a relationship with the opposite uh, gender. Boyfriends, girlfriends, long for your sex. And then children are made. So you got like four uh, things to jump before you can get into bed with each other. And that takes a period of years, straight to adolescence. So when she touches a student like that, you jump that child straight from a child that has real love to right into the bed that day at four. That child will not be good in school. He can't learn nothing. Your mind is focused on that alone. Like I said, if you're an adult, if that's your kink, that's fine. But we can't put our kink on children. So when he said that, uh, and let me look at his foolishness again. Just to be sure, we put that back on the screen. Let's be honest though. It's a lot harder for a woman to sexually harass a man than the other way around. Really? Really? It's the year 2022. How many more years you just got to go with this type of belief? Now, not saying it can't happen, but I personally don't think the two are comparable. And thank God I'm not a judge in court this guy can finish off. Thank God I'm not your lawyer to represent you in that case where you're trying to sue that company. And in some of these cases, this guy's been fired and had to shut their mouth. So, for what in the living hell this guy represents the first case of we responding to comments. So if you have a comment that you have a video anywhere on YouTube that's far out there reaching like that, that doesn't make any sense, and you want to present it to the show, give us the link, give us a comment, and you want to comment on this video, share it with your friends. We'll see you again soon on What in the Living Hell. See you guys. Nightowlhiphop.com Yeah Holy smokes, I'm no joke out the bullpen Bringing nothing but heat Leave you hanging like clothespins He's a beast when he goes in Ice cold frozen The first round draft pick Number one chosen Drop bombs, explosion I'm self-promotion And I keep Moving like a flanker in motion I'm the number one spokesman is my devotion That I'm dedicated to the rhyme is my own notion Brown water's the potion, it put hair on your chest Or you can put one in the urn, it'll put you to rest Sweet dreams, I'm about to fade I got my mind on my money and I'm dreaming about getting this all paid Mr. Go-Getter, Mr. Assertive, Mr. Initiative Mr. Res